okay here I am again with another video and um, in today's video I want to talk about society you see we often use terms and words in our daily lives without investigating the true meaning of those words you see now I'm not here to give a whole lecture about the origin of words no that's not relevant for now what I do want to talk about is you see, we often talk about society as if it's something that's real, something, you know, tangible, you can touch it, something that's there. But I'm going to give you some news today. This may so shock you, but I need to say it. Society doesn't exist. You see, the biblical word for society is the world. Now, don't get me wrong, humans, I'm talking about human beings now, they live together in groups in certain places and there's exchange between those human beings between different groups. Those things are real. The, so the economics and social relationships are real. And also their physical existence, like they live in houses, near parks or near rivers, you know, that's real. But what we call society is a mental construction. It's something that only exists here in the mind. It's not something that's ordained by God. You see? And that's what I want you guys to think about. Society is an imaginary construction that people pass on from generation to generation. You know? And this, this mental construction is created to regulate social, social, sexual, and economic inter transactions. You see? But it's just an imaginary construction. So think about this. If God didn't ordain society, because remember, it's a mental construction, it's, it's something real, then who did? Just think about that for a few seconds. I'll talk further within a few seconds. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. You talked about it. See, the earth is God. Okay, that's real. You can see it all around me. You have the buildings that human beings have built and the influence of human beings upon the earth. You see that also around me. You have the human beings themselves walking around. That's all of that is real. Okay, so I'm not debating about that. But what we today call the world, you see, you know, what we call the world is imaginary. It ain't real and it's oppressive. Because just think about it. It's a mental construction, all right? So how do you get people to accept a mental construction? You know? It isn't something real. If you want people to accept something that's real, you don't have to do anything to make them accept it because by nature, they know they have to accept it because it's real. But when something isn't real, the only way you can make people accept it and cooperate with it is by lying to them. And how do you lie to them? By giving 80 to 90% truth and a little bit of deception. And they won't be able to, you mix them together, and they won't be able to recognize the true facts from the lie. So most, tr most lies, you know, are stories that contain 90 to 99% true facts and one piece of delusion. And often, because it's so well mixed together, you can't recognize it's a lie because you see so many true facts in it. But it's still a lie. And you see, that's how society is being passed on from generation to generation. You know, it's by lies and the use of physical violence to make people cooperate. You know, look, in the Bible, also in the Old Testament, you know, in the Psalms it talks about the world and there it talks about 
all human beings together as social beings, okay? But when you read in the New Testament, when it talks about the world, it isn't talking about all human beings as social beings together on the earth. It talks about this mental construction you sinners are holding on to, which is basically idolatry. You know, I needed to say this because many are trained from childhood. They've been emotionally blackmailed by their surroundings to conform to society. Okay. So you need to conform to society, you need to respect society. And by the way, I've already explained that respect is a word from Latin, respirare, which means to rebreathe. It's not naturally rebreathing, it's rebreathing a power play. You had the Greek Empire, the aristocrats that were oppressing, you know, Europe, then Gaius which became the first Roman Emperor, rebreathed the Greek Empire into Europe, which now called the Roman Empire. So he was rebreathing as a claim, and he was forcing people to acknowledge that claim, and if they didn't comply with his will, you know, they would be crucified or put in prison. That's what respect is. Respect is a violent demand from someone upon someone else. You see, that's all it is. It has nothing to do with value, honor, anything. So respect itself is something from the kingdom of darkness. God does not work with respect. He never did. Neither does he respect anyone. So... Now just think about this. Are there, you know, parts of your life really where you still want to fit in into society? If you do, then repent now, because if you try to prove con to conform to society, you're basically becoming an enemy of God. Okay? May's grace be with you.